Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Lorenzo. And we work at the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. Today for the series The Future of Our Food, we'll be talking to Sara Vaz, the youngest economist to have worked in the production of this year's The State of Food and Agriculture report that was just released a few days ago. Let's go. Thank you so much for meeting us, Sara. As Lorenzo said as we were walking down here, uh, you're the youngest economist that worked on this report. Do you want to tell us in your own words about what this report is about? Sure. So this report exposes the problem of food loss and waste and tries to find new courses of action so that we can move from awareness to effective reduction. Mm -hmm. It does so by various ways. It starts by presenting uh, new and improved estimates on food loss. And it also disentangles the complex, the complex ways through which food loss and waste reduction impacts on food security and nutrition on the one hand and environmental sustainability on the other. Was this your first report that you worked on? Indeed it is. So Sarah, if, you, if there's something we should remember about the report, what do you think that would be? Well, you should remember that there is no silver bullet when it comes to reducing food loss and waste. So this is an issue that results from uh, actions from millions of uh, actors around food systems, from farmers to consumers to governments. So if we really want to solve this issue, we have to start working together. And one of the most important steps, if not the most important, is to improve statistics. And this should really become a priority to the international community, to governments and to the private sector. And it would also be nice to know a bit more about your, your background, because we've talked about the report, but why did you decide to study economics? Well, I've always been very interested in uh, sustainability and development issues. Mm -hmm. And truth is, uh, the world population is going to continue to grow, and resources are fewer and fewer. So economics is a way to look at how people, enterprises, uh, governments really allocate scarce resources. And at the end of the day, economists are able to um, somehow make complex and diverse data accessible and comprehensible to the general public, which is really essential if you want to solve mm. important issues. Of course. Excellent. And what was your specific role in the, in the production of the report? Well, I contributed to the writing of every chapter. Um, I did have a stronger focus on the fifth chapter of our report, which is on the environmental impacts of food loss and waste reduction. I also um, handled the data that was delivered to us by the statistical uh, department. And yeah, basically that. That's very impressive, Sara. So you worked... Can in... I see the, the report? Sure. <laughs> so you worked on this report for throughout the whole chapters, right? Do you have any personal challenges and any lessons learned um, and any experiences you want to share? Yeah, well, I think the biggest challenge of this report was talking about an issue and how to solve it without having reliable and uh, comparable data. So this really constitutes an important barrier to effective policy making and we really need to start working together if we're going to solve this issue. And the food loss estimates that are released by, through the food loss index are an important step towards this direction. Um, but more, more needs to be done and through capacity development, through partnerships both internationally and nationally if we really want to solve this issue. And what are you personally doing to reduce food waste and what can we all do to reduce it? Well, personally in my daily, daily life I try to avoid food waste as much as I can. I try to always clean my plate as we say. I try to convince my family and friends to do the same. And one thing that us consumers can do always is donate our excess food. Right. So we can do so by sharing it among our friends, among our family, with our nearest food bank. And this can really have a strong impact on the food security and nutritious status of food insecure populations. Thank you so much, Sada, for chit-chatting with us. Thank you. Remember to like and share this video and comment below on what you are personally doing to reduce food waste. Thank Bye. you.